What's up guys? In this video we turn a pile of parts into two engines as well as put this one on the 60s go-kart and blow it up. Alright guys, so um, we have, I was over at Blake's house and we were working on rebuilding that thing and uh, he remembered that he has a couple of these old Briggs and Stratton engines in, it, in his attic and one of them is a Raptor racing engine which is pretty cool like factory air pod all that stuff it's like you know flathead Briggs this is really cool stuff so this one definitely does not run it had some issue it like blew up so what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to bring together the parts of both of these and make one functioning engine preferably this one so the big issue with this engine which is the racing one is that it has a lot of uh, cylinder wall scoring so what the main objective is is it's going to be to take the parts off of this one and put them into this engine which hopefully will have a good cylinder head so we'll have to see Metal, not plastic like a Predator. <laughs> or even the Honda motor, so that's pretty cool. All right, so now. Whoa, there it is. All right, so we got the crankcase open on this one. So now what we'll do is we'll open it up on our Raptor here. And then we'll just kind of, we're going to compare the two parts because these are basically identical except this one's got some like forged parts and stuff. I actually know nothing about these engines other than they're pretty cool. So let's yank this off. Alright guys, this is really cool. Like this has like a bearing as opposed to like just riding on metal as it, like this one. And like everything is in here. There's no governor stock, which is cool because you can tell that because like this governor arm here and all that. This is a pretty cool little engine we got here, so, um, and this, this, uh, piston wall does not have the same scoring as this one, so if we can, what we'll do is we'll try to exchange these parts into this block, because in here it looks super clean. Sweet. There you go. So now the next step is going to be taking everything out of this block and then transferring these parts over to this engine. So basically we're stripping this down to basically just only the block itself. All right, so this is something that's kind of cool. Under here are the springs. So that's cool. So it's because it's not an overhead valve like a Predator. That's yeah, quite easy. Cool. Let's see if it'll come off. Let me make it through. Yeah, we're gonna have to hammer it. So here's all the hoopty engine parts. So what we're gonna try to do is, there's hoop, there's the hoopty engine block that we're gonna use, that we're gonna use as the good engine block, because as you can see, the piston walls are pretty good in that. And this one, we'll use as the, uh, we'll use all those hoopty parts from that old engine, put them in here, and see if it runs or even makes compression. So now what I have to do is. I'm going to pull out all the parts of this while Blake's cleaning that. So then what we can do is we can reassemble that and then reassemble this into this. Hopefully I'm making sense here, but basically by the end, hopefully we'll have two running engines. One will be good and the other one is not going to be that good, but hopefully it runs. Alright, so it's a long time later, uh, as you can tell, but hopefully the video different, video quality difference. But that's okay, um, we've had a bunch of new projects since then. Uh, this is a 60s go-kart. And we're thinking that it'd be really cool to put the, the Raptor engine that we're going to build out of all the Raptor parts on it. The problem is we took a better look at like these uh, cylinder walls on the other two blocks and they didn't look that good. So I went looking on Craigslist and I just recently found this one. As you can see by the oil in the cylinder, it, uh, it definitely has some um, piston ring issues. But the block on the inside, the wall is super clean. So I think we're going to go ahead and use this one. And the weird thing about these is apparently you can't hone it because it's aluminum. And it really messes it up and I can cut way too much out. 
because I almost bought a hone and I was like, I'll just hone it out, but apparently it's just a little too much to, for the aluminum block to handle. So hopefully what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to rebuild a Raptor engine and put it on this thing because, I mean, it's cool with a Predator, but as a one wheel peeler, it doesn't really need the Predator. You know what I mean? Like, I think it'll still spin the tires and stuff with this Raptor engine, and it'll go way better with the whole, like, classic, like, vintage go-kart theme. So, I think I'm just gonna tear this one completely apart, and then we'll work on the reassembly process. Alright, so we got this block completely disassembled. I'm not gonna mess with the valve springs or anything, because I think they're okay. And it's just kind of a pain to mess with all that stuff. And then we have the other block here that we'll be using. So these are the two non-Raptor engine blocks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the Raptor parts in this block because it has the nicest like piston wall and all that stuff. And then I'm going to put all the leftover parts into this one and see if I can't get it um, running at all. It'd be cool to have two engines just in case we have another project like this I want to put it on. Alright, so we got the Raptor crank in. So now here goes the piston. We don't have a ring compressor, but we're just going to work with what we have. Okay. Got all the piston rings in and evenly spaced. So now what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll oil this up and bolt on the oil uh, spreader. Alright, so Jason's working on getting the valve springs into this. And we decided to put like the stock block into this, or stock piston into this engine. Just because like it's way more solid and it just... Like, I'd rather have one that's definitely going to run, and then we can mess with, like, the not-so-good Raptor parts. Um, so now I just got to pop the cam in it, torque down all these bolts on the outside cover. Then we'll put the head on, and it should be ready to run. Alright, so the Raptor cam is going in. Uh, we decided just to put the regular pistons in both of them just because the Raptor piston was like, I think it had a slightly different bore so it kind of seized in there when we tried to spin it. But we'll, this engine will have all the Raptor parts and stuff in it so that's good. Also over here, this is our like, this probably has the best chance of like running reliably and like, uh, it makes a lot of compression so I'm excited to hear this one run. So this one's basically done, it just needs a front cover and some oil in it, and then this one just needs the side case on it and the head on it, and we'll be ready to go. Okay, so we got the uh, cam in, lifters in, crankcase on, and now I'm just putting the head on. Yep, and, and then the carb is almost done on this one, so it should just need some gas and the muffler, and it hopefully will start. Yeah. Let's get the other one around. Alright, so it's all together, so let's see. So we can't get this thing started for the life of us. It's like jerking around and stuff. Uh, it doesn't. It won't even start start fluid. So we're just gonna wait on this guy, and we'll put the Raptor carburetor on this because it's really cool, and we'll put this on there. But I mean, this one runs really well, and I'm sure without like all the Raptor parts, it won't make that much of a difference. But I mean, this is really just for like the classicness on the '60s go kart. So. We'll throw the carburetor on it and we'll start working on getting the predator off. Dude. Took all the bolts out, so it should be pretty easy just to take it off. Cool. Seems like our engine mount plate and all that stuff's holding up well, so I think hopefully all we'll have to do is just bolt the new engine on. We got the chain all tightened up and all that, so 
just bolting her up and then all I have to do is connect the throttle. I mean, like switching engines on this once you have a, like a universal engine mount plate welded on it, super easy. So we have the throttle hooked up. So that runs down here and just right here. So we're getting full throttle and stuff. So I think what we'll do now is we'll put it up on some jack stands and uh, watch, it, watch it run and see if everything works, like the brakes and all that and the clutch. So it should be pretty cool. Okay guys, uh, don't use the old head gaskets because we just blew the hell out of this one. So, well that sucks. I'm really pissed honestly, but hopefully we'll be able to get back out here next week and yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um, so that kind of sucks. I really want to make some footage of driving this thing with this engine. But I also think this one will run with the head gasket because it's kind of doing all the same things this engine's doing. So I'll order two head gaskets, we'll put them in, and then maybe we can do like a comparison video or something like that, which should be pretty cool. And then we can start working on this thing again. Alright, thanks for watching.